Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Infra, the civil engineering simulator. Yes, the laptop is open, the Peace, Love and Bridges mug is on standby, which you can buy in my merch store along with loads of other designs. Yeah, but let's get back into Infra and where we left off last time. Oh god, this is ominous. So the game's just loaded and we are here. What is the flashlight button? It was F. Let's reload that. There you go, we can, we can sort of see where we're going now. So it's a long, scary corridor with a bright light at the end. Right, so we've got this. We can go up there. Oh god, that's, that's quite a long way up. Down there, can you see there's a collapse? That means we can take a photo because this is a site visit. So you play as a civil engineer in this game, you got to take photos of all the bad stuff. So that is a collapsed tunnel. So that is a photo. Uh, do we head up or shall we check out down here first? So, oh, look, batteries. So we can't get through there. So it looks like we're going upstairs. Well, not stairs, ladders. So, oh, God, it's a long way up. But here we are. Uh, this is very precarious, quite quite a drop there. Uh, we can't seem to fit through either. We're going to have to duck. Uh, but here we go. We are through. So ducting on that wall. Loads of pipage on that wall. Yes, pipage is a technical term. Oh, look at this. I have spotted a leak. You know what that means? Photo time. And when you get that nice little noise, the ringing, that means we found a good photo. Well, not a good photo, a bad photo. Yeah, that door is locked, so we're going to have to go back the other way. I've noticed these pipes are sort of, they're like insulated. I don't know what that means. I don't know what, I've forgotten where we are. Like, where are we? We're like in a, we were in a water treatment plant. Whether we still are. Oh, look, there's the outside. And we've got in there with a red light. We can probably go have a little sniff around down there. I'm just going to check this doorway first. Oh, so we're nearly out. That door's locked. What's through this way? Two little doors, because it's a locker. So we've got some batteries for our camera. Or well, they might be flashlight batteries. We can't actually carry anymore. So we'll be leaving those behind. And a cheeky beer for the journey. <laughs> oh, bollocks. I dropped it. Right, so nothing to do up there. So we'll go back. We'll head into the red. So I'm guessing we're climbing up here. Not really sure if this is the proper route we're meant to be taking. It seems a bit sort of dodgy. <laughs> Yeah, so that can be opened. So we can go out here. Does this open? Oh, look, there's a motorbike. Oh, it's locked. I want the motorbike. Oh, there's a door there. No entry. It needs a key card. So we don't have that key card. Anything good in there? Jumping up and down the window. Can you imagine if you were in that room and you just saw like a head just jumping up and down? Oh, what are these? What are these? Fan active. Fan start time. Oh god, we can twist that all the way around. I don't even know what time it is now. So we'll leave that on six where it was. We've also got a stop time. Instructions from this panel. You can adjust ventilation fans operation timing blah 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 please note that fan can be at max three hours inactive in 24 hour period okay so we've got to work out what time it is and then i assume try and turn it off how do i oh i got i got a phone i got a phone what was it escape it doesn't have the time on it it doesn't have the time hey song what a shit brand anyway maybe there's some other way to tell us what time it is let's climb up here oh look there's the fan that fan that can't kill us surely like it's not spinning that much Surely you could put your shoe on it and, like, stop the blades moving, no? Judging from the other things that have killed us in this series, I'm pretty sure that will kill us. All right, so we've just got to keep it three hours ahead. So I think I'll just do, like, this sort of thing until it goes off. There you go, it's gone off. So if we do that, it should be off for two hours and then it'll come back on. No one will know. No one will get hurt. There you go, the fan has stopped so we can drop down. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, let's stay crouched in case it does come back on. Remove this panel and we are through. Oh, and we're outside. We're free. We're finally free. Oh, and get on the motorbike. <laughs> I'm actually on the motorbike. I'm quite surprised at that. I can use it to climb up here. Yeah, I'm not sure that's useful. I can peek over the hedge though. Can I now open this? No, I still need a key card. I'm guessing if we find a key card, we've got to come back. Oh, look, look, batteries. We've got a bit of paper. What does this say? Should I be rooting through people's bins? I don't know. Oh, wow. So this sort of explains why every building is collapsing and why you can see rebar everywhere. Uh, it's basically an inspection of the construction site and like some proper dodgy stuff going on. The rebar was poor quality and too thin. Some of the sand in the concrete has been replaced with dirt. So basically, they were proper cheaping out when they built this. So let's take a photo of that. That is hard evidence. Uh, but yes, we will go this way then. All right, can't open the garage door. I'm guessing. What is that? Oh, it's just a bit of red paint. We are going down this manhole back into the drains. <laughs> oh, look, the water's running. So this is probably like... Oh, ow, that hurt. So yeah, this is a surface water system. There shouldn't ever be a grating like that in the middle of it, though. 
Like from a real life perspective, if anything should get into this pipe, it will just get stuck there and that will block. And then the pipe's blocked. And then because it's metal bars, like you can't clean it. You can't maintain it. So that is very much a video game system. Nothing to do with real life. Uh, but anyway, sorry for being <laughs> sorry for being engineer nerd. Uh, also, the ladder probably shouldn't extend down into here either. It should probably stop like there, maybe. Or at least be set back. Uh, right, so we're in like a proper brick arch sewer. Pretty interesting. There's like, it's another grill. Look how thin that grill is. Like hardly any objects can pass through. And you can actually see the debris like built up behind it. There's a mattress, there's a trolley. Uh, how are you meant to clean it? How are you meant to clean that? I don't know. I don't know where to go. There's so many options. Let's go up here then. And perhaps we can go up this one. Yeah, let's go. Let's go explore. So we've gone up the ladder. We're opening the manhole. Oh, posh building. Oh, another motorbike. Oh God, I fell down. Oh, but I died. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh no, we're all the way back here. We're all the way back here. God damn it, game. All right, at least I sort of remember what time it was. It was like, take a photo of that again. Pull down this one again. Just about caught the ladder. All right, this time, don't die. Good work, Matt. Wop, wop. That door's locked. Not too surprising. Oh, an actual bike. Wop. <laughs> oh, key card. We got yellow key card. So now we could jump back and go into that room, probably. I'm going to have a little wander around first, just make sure we don't miss anything. You are locked. You are locked. All right, okay, we're going into here now, so we should be able to, yes, unlock these. Unlock that one. Right, what goodies are in here then? Some more paperwork. Oh, so this is like the defense of that report that said everything was shockingly bad. So their replies are slightly thinner rebar won't substantially weaken the concrete. The contractors report, they're the guys that build it, indicate that there isn't significant amount of dirt in the concrete, only small traces. Of course it would be because the contractor did it themselves. <laughs> you know, they reckon the design life has gone from 40 to 30 years, which isn't an issue apparently. So yeah, they, they decided to carry on building. What does this say? Bajorn, Bjorn, dispose these documents as soon as possible. Contains harmful information. Well, unfortunately for you, I have a camera. Snip, snap. So yeah, lots of corruption. I'm glad we came in here. That was quite interesting. So you always see that whenever you see like these cork board things. There's always a smiley face. People just can't help themselves. All right, and yes, I've just done that one because that's my trademark as well. Some people's trademark is smiley face. Mine is that. All right, so back down here for the third time. Oh God. So I think for now, we'll continue past this ladder and see what's down this pipe. Great, it's just a grating and a massive spider web. Let's get the hell out of here. Right then, so out of here, we're gonna head down this tunnel. We haven't been this way yet. Oh look, I can lift a pick. We'll take that with me then. <laughs> is that a hole? No, that looked really deep. I was scared I was going to die then. You know what this game is like with deep water. Oh, look, the exit. So we can head down there. I just want to see, is there anything up here worth looking at? No, another stupid grating system. That shouldn't be that. So we'll head into the exit. Uh, all looks okay in here. We'll head up these stairs. Another exit sign. Oh god, it sounds electrical in here. So I can see sparks coming out of there, and it looks like there's a puddle. So we probably want to avoid that until we can turn it off. So let's be careful about where we stand. Ah, oh, crap, I died. <laughs> Damn it! That made me jump. <laughs> All right, can I climb up this? No. Oh, look, there's a switch here. Let's flip that. Has that done anything? So it turned off this. What's that connected to? This one. Oh, and I think I need to turn that one off because it's got a light and that one's turned off. So can I get that switch or is that in the puddle? I can't really tell. Bollocks. <laughs> All right, can I jump the puddle? <laughs> no. Actually, I want to... Oh, I can, I can sneak under. I can crouch under there. Head this way. There we go. We've avoided that one. So now, do I turn that off? Yes, that's done something. I can hear an alarm now, which doesn't sound good. Oh, look. Rebar poking out. Photo. So that's where the concrete's like cracked and fallen off and it's exposing the steel rebar, which is going all rusty and therefore not safe. All right, so we can now walk through this puddle safely. So we can turn that one off and that will turn over there off. So we can explore down here. Let's reload our flashlight again. So there's a line switch. Do I want to hit that? I don't know what that does. Let's read this. Oh, my flashlight goes off. That's not very useful. <laughs> now, basically, you can see the electric substation service logbook has not been maintained correctly. It's got like doodles in it. It's got someone telling someone to use the log properly. So yeah, I think that's a photo. Poor upkeep. All right, then let's hit this switch and see what it does. Nothing. Okay, 
good to know. What if I hit it back? Let's do oh, I tell you what, I think if we do that, if we then turn these on, nothing happens. Oh god, that one. Okay, I lied, I lied, something definitely happens. Oh look, I've turned this end on. Oh, main line, auxiliary line. Let's see what's up this ladder first. So fans override, press to enable ventilation. Okay, I assume we need to be turned on before we can do that. <laughs> I mean the fans, the fans, don't take that that way. <laughs> okay, we are rinsing through the batteries. So let's go down and try and work out what the hell we're meant to do. So if we go back to main line, that's now sparking. If we go up, can we do the fans now? So if we hit that. There we go. We are now venting. Uh, oh, look. The fans that's blown the cable out of the water. So now we can walk along this safely. Yes, we can. Okay. So now there's power coming along there. I just turned this one on. So what if we go to aux now? There we go. I turned on all of them and then flipped the power to the other side. So now the power is getting up here without any problems, which means... Uh... <laughs> something good i don't i don't know why i did that if i'm honest oh that's what we've done i think we've opened this door so we can go through here now hallway simulator 2016 <laughs> oh god that's a long hallway man i can't believe this game was made in 2016 that seems a long time oh what is that light that light was like that a second ago was it all right so our bloke just said if the metro station wasn't closed we'd be halfway back to the office already so we're definitely taking the scenic route we shouldn't be down here. We're still taking photos of everything, though. I'm surprised how big our memory card is. But, uh, ooh, red light. I wonder what's down there. I'm going to go explore this end first. So we've got a flood door. We've got the old hand wheel valve. So we can spin that if we let go. It doesn't come back down. Sometimes you, like, spin these, and when you let go, it closes again. So I feel like this is, like, a proper airlock. Like, I probably have to close that one behind me and then do that one. So I'm going to go have a look down those stairs first. So we are heading down into the darkness again. Let's get the flashlight out. It's very dark, this level, this part of the game. I don't know that I like it. All right, so we've got some boxes we can move. Anything behind them? No. So let's remember we can move them just in case we need them for in here. Anything to climb with boxes? Oh, up there maybe? No, I don't think we can get around there, can we? Oh, maybe we can get up here. Yeah, let's go. Let's go grab them. All right, box. To me. To you. To me. This might not be a thing, by the way. All right, so we can climb on this one, can we? All right, we're on this one. Let's get on that one. Yes. All right, can we get through there? Yes, we're through. We're through. Ah ha ha. Am I meant to be down here? I don't know. We're down. Can we unlock that door now? Oh god. We might be trapped. We might be trapped. Yeah, so where are we? Water. So a whole lot of nothing down there. There is a door with no handle. Oh, so it's an elevator shaft. Doesn't look like it's in use. Place is huge. What is this? Oh crap. I've just been locked in. What the? I've been waiting for this moment. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh crap. That's a photo. <laughs> oh, look at the dynamite. Oh god, it exploded. <laughs> right, so we probably need to find a way out of here. Um. Oh crap. Right, there you go. Over here. Over here. Oh no, wrong way. Let's try this way. <laughs> so basically, he set a trap for water. Unfortunately, I am not water. But uh, it's under his headquarters. And he's trying to kill him, even though he's already dead. Oh, we didn't make it. We didn't make it. So yeah, a case of mistaken identity. Uh, I'm trying to outrun a collapsing tunnel. God, run! <laughs> uh, I guess we just head to the exit. Let's keep going exit. Oh god, the door's shut. The door's shut. All right, has the building stopped collapsing? I'm not sure. Uh, looks like we can sneak up here, though. If we can move these about a bit. I'm sort of thinking if we bring this one back. What if we... Oh, I dropped it. I dropped it. What if we go to the end? Oh, we can go to the end. That was, that's what I was meant to do. All right, so up here sort of right we are up oh i see i see an elevator in there i think we can get round actually there's a way in there so we can take a box let's take a box up here all right now we are in is this where the guy was staying pretty cool setup all right collapsed walkway that is a photo yeah probably can't survive if we go down so we're gonna have to go back another way so we can go through here and this goes through the vent into that room we could see before with the elevator all right, here it is. Let's open that up. Nice. So I'm guessing this was the way down, up. Let's close that. Press the button. Okay, we've done the level. We survived. 
That was pretty mental. Not going to lie. Oh, we're going up. We're going up. We're going up really high. I wonder if that dynamite did any damage. I mean, thankfully, this still seems to be working. Oh, man, this has been going on for like a minute now. <laughs> How high is this thing? <laughs> oh, it's slowing down. It's slowing down. Oh, where are we? What is this? Oh, my God. Gold bars. Yeah, are they cockroaches? Yeah, there's loads of cockroaches. That's so much gold. I love how heavy they are as well, like where you drop them. <laughs> right, that's a photo. Right, what do these say then? Now, it's this one they're talking about taking over the hydro dam. They're saying the dam could be a good alternative power source to the bunker. Bunker? Uh, those are the main reasons we need to buy Hammer Valley Hydro. Okay. Uh, water will handle getting rid of Stolberg steel. We know the Stolberg steel offices contain some sensitive information which we don't want to fall into the wrong hands, but the main reason to cause bankruptcy is getting the military extended mandate over civilian legislation bodies. Oh man, this is going pretty deep. Uh, there are many benefits to buying the Bergman Group. I think that's like the water company people. Uh, the company has built most of the city's underground infrastructure, including several areas around the bunker. So there's some sort of bunker thing going on. And they're sort of buying loads of different companies to uh, make that easier or something. That's a photo. Uh, right, up these very steep stairs. I've just opened a secret door. Oh, it's behind a bookcase. Oh, look, it's closing. It's closing. It just pushed me back. Ugh. That nearly killed me. Oh, so you go up here and you've got to like pull the right book. I can't even get back now. I don't know what book it is. Oh, wow. We are high. Oh, man. Look at that view. Look how flat those cars are. <laughs> oh, God. Look down there. The building's on fire. Man, where is my office? I want to get back. I know you could see the cruise ship from the office, couldn't you? Oh, man. Hell of a view, though. Decent. Why was there so much corruption? <laughs> Look, here's a notepad. Hmm, not really sure what this is all about. There's a code at the bottom, though. I wonder if that's just something to remember. Uh, similar to the code that was on the dead body, like at the very start. Man, surely the police are, like, wondering where the hell I am. Like, I called in a dead body near the start of the game and then literally haven't been seen since by anyone. <laughs> like, where am I? Anyway, let's head out this way. Holy sheet, this is a nice room. Look at this. See, told you, posh people, green lamps. So this was Walter's desk. It's been raided from the looks of things. Uh, he had a hell of a view though. Look at the beer place. Osmo Ola, I want one of them. Oh, look at that bridge in the background. Look at it. That is a bilf if ever I've seen a bilf. Right, through here then. No, that's locked. Also locked. Hmm, okay. Oh, what's that? Oh, look, look. I found a tape. Do I have to carry this all the way back to the projection room? <laughs> uh, there's also some cash in there. Is that a photo? No, that's not a photo. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's a it's not a projector, it's a VCR. Shove that in there. Let's watch this then. Okay, so basically, Walter was doing like a little videotape to the people of Stolberg, this lovely, lovely city that's falling apart. Yeah, sort of trying to explain that he's been like set up almost. And I think that's what we've just read. He was actually set up. Uh, and he said he was basically going to go into hiding until he can prove that he was set up and he's not evil. And there's other people that are evil. Perhaps the people with the bunkers? I'm not 100% sure. But that explains the lights because he was filming himself. I love that I still haven't filmed my boss. I'm just like... Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. That was pretty interesting, wasn't it? It's not even a photo. But yeah, he got interrupted because the military had just barged in and he said he's gone into hiding. So I'm guessing his last act was quickly hide the tape in there. And then where did he go is the question. Oh, I've just like, I've just noticed some of these books. Like, can you see that one? Transformation of War. I can touch that. Also Business Law. Where are they in this book? Transformation of War. Tar. Oh, have I got to do it in order? It's like you pull the books in order. So S5, so one, two, three, four, five, Steinson, Stuhlberg and Steel. So we've got to find the book Stuhlberg and Steel first. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, there you go. Stuhlberg and Steel. So we press that one in. T3. I can't believe I worked something out. T3. So one, two, three, tar. That's Transformation of War. Poke that one in. T6 is Business Law. I think I saw that one. Yep. Business Law. Push you in. S8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stuhlberg Bunkers. Stuhlberg Bunkers. Push you in. No, S10. Is Stuhlberg in World War Two Or 5? World War Two probably. And then T7 will be planning. So Stuhlberg in World War Two, And then planning. Yes. Yes, we did it. 
We did it! Yay! We did a thing! Oh, I just had another look at the book and it's shut again! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's on a timer! Oh, bollocks. Yeah, I was just wondering what was at the bottom corner. It's like, I emped, and then some maths. Done it, bollocks. We're gonna have to do this again now. Stolberg and Steel. <laughs> right, the joys of editing means you don't have to watch this again. Right, there we go. It's open again. Let's not fanny around this time. Let's just get straight back in quick. <laughs> Uh, right, we are back in. Hey, look, there's a bear. He's got a cigar, some cash, and is that a gold bar behind him in red? Uh, so I'm guessing we just go back down then, do we? Well, that was interesting. I wonder if that was all optional. Man, it's such a long, such a long elevator journey. It's a long way down. Ooh, loading screen. All right, so there was a load of stuff I skipped in this room because I was scared it was collapsing on me because the dynamite. So uh, I guess we'll head back down and sort of try and wiggle our way to the bottom of this maybe via the forklift truck thank you forklift truck uh, so we've got exit there that was locked but if we go back this way there's loads of rooms look there's a collapsed one that's a photo there's another collapse photo is that where we came from that may have been where we ran out of uh, what about down here oh a pile of metal is that falling down yeah that's falling down oh we've already oh we're down here we were up there earlier and we looked down keep out okay that's probably the way we've got to go then we'll check this door first Oh, it opens. And there's an open thing that way. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this opens as well. All right, we can turn power off. I'm going to guess we need to do that, but I want to work out why first. So we go through this way. That door's locked. All right, in which case, let's go through the keep out thing. Oh, no, it's another water slide. It's another water slide. It's actually a funicular railway. So maybe we need to turn the power on first. Okay, power. What do you do? It's going green. Green is good. All right, does this switch work now? Yes. Oh. Bye, world. We're going down. Oh, God. Funiculars are scary. <laughs> That's a long way down. Yeah, really cool, though. It does take me back to my childhood times at Hastings on the seafront, on the funicular. I've also been on a few in, on, like, ski holidays, like, up in the Alps. They have funiculars every now and again. Right. What is this room, then? It's big. It is big. That's what she said. <laughs> Oh, it's Funicular Central. There's like another one up there. It's got a forklift truck on it. What is this from? Blast door? Ooh, a blast door. So it looks like we've got to find a code for that. Oh my god, that's what mice used to look like back in the day. Key hook with no keys on it. Oh look, there's a hole in the floor. That's for photo. All right, so can we cool this funicular down? Come down. No, it's not coming down. Okay, we'll head down this way. That's like a blast door sort of thing. Warning high voltage. Okay, I will be careful in there. Oh god, that was terrifying. I don't know if that was outside or in the game. I just heard like a kid scream. <laughs> And also, look at that. I'm pretty sure it's just like a graphics texture thing that's gone a bit mental, but it's terrifying. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? What is this place? I don't like it. Okay, we got buttons. We got buttons. Breaker 1 and breaker 2. Oh, look, bunker codes. 7925? Or is that a 3? I thought it was a 5 at first, but I think it's a 3 now. Why does the code change so often? Who the hell could even get here? Well, we got here. All right, so breaker 2 is connected to the dam... Oh, we actually have the bunker. The main hall of the bunker is now connected to breaker two. Don't turn this off. Wow, okay, okay. So don't turn breaker two off. What about this one? All right, I did something. Oh, look, we got lights, we got lights. Finally, put the flashlight away. So we can go into here. Man, there is some insane equipment down here. So do I want to turn that on? I don't know. I don't know. All right, I've turned it on, I've turned it on. There we go. Nice, we're good. We got a good sound. So that's all green. So was it 7923, was it? Seven, nine, two, three. Yeah, we've got a green light. Sweet. Pull that. Oh, God. Oh, God. What's going on? We've got alarms. Holy crap. Look at those doors. Is this the bunker? I think I found the bunker. Whoa. That's pretty mental. And if you want to find out what's in there, guys, you're going to have to catch me next time. Boost the like button if you want to see more. Uh, but for now, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace, love, and underground secret bunkers. Bye. <laughs>